And guess who we have in studio? It's Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Yes, hey, sir. it's Christmas Eve, it makes sense. Uh, and earlier in the show, we saw Santa Claus um, windsurfing in Canada, and I guess you, you made it here just in time. Well, that was me, and it was very cold. <laughs> But before I get going tonight, I needed to come back and pick up Mrs. Claus. Exactly. She had some last-minute shopping to do, and uh, it's uh, it's all ready to go. We and, got the sleigh ready. And tell us what you're doing today here in Hawaii for the children. Who are you helping out? Well, we do a lot. Uh, Mrs. Claus loves to come as soon as we get things done at the North Pole. Uh, about Thanksgiving, she comes down and checks out any of the new toys. We also come down and uh, help out in areas that uh, are non-traditional. We help out, you were talking about uh, your pets. We do Santa Paws with the Humane Society and things like that. You have to remember your animals are part of your family and should be part of your Christmas celebration. And how have the kids been this year? Have they been uh, naughty or nice? Well, Mrs. Claus handles the All list. The letters, I right. handle the list. And, and good news, right? Well, everywhere we went, we found the children were on that good list. But we had to tell them that they were on the good list as of that moment, so they mm. still needed to be on their good behavior until Christmas and really all year long. I don't know. When I was a kid, I must have been really bad one uh, one year because... We'll check. Uh, under the Christmas tree, I got a dictionary one year, and then the next year, I got a synonym finder. <laughs> <laughs> Has that helped you? Yeah, so, I no, I think it was... It was it's helped me over the years, but I was so disappointed. That was one of my worst Christmas gifts. We I've might have known done. better than you. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure you did. That's probably sure why you're you in the business we, you're we in. Did, you did good for you. Uh, of, the, uh, of the youngsters that we've seen, the interesting part is it's always great to bring a smile and, and a, a twinkly eye to the youngsters, but also to see them uh, grow and mature and learn that uh, giving at Christmas time is mm -hmm. is well, if not more favorable than receiving. And that, well that's said. And as they grow, they mature. It's a wonderful thing to see. That and is that well said, and uh, we'll all remember that uh, in this uh, time during this Christmas uh, year as we celebrate uh, this wonderful holiday. Uh, great to have you with us, Santa and Mrs. Claus. And also, we should remind uh, the viewers out there that at 5.30 today, Diane Sawyer of ABC News, she'll be actually visiting one of Santa's favorite places and somewhere you've actually visited before. It's, it's a school for Santa helpers. You know, I can't be everywhere. And if you watch that program, you'll see uh, a school for Santa helpers. And uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus have actually been there helping that school progress. Santa and Mrs. Claus, thank you for joining us here this morning, and uh, we hope you make it out to all those houses and uh, to give those gifts to all the children out there today. Have a merry it's Christmas. It's our pleasure. Merry, merry Christmas. Christmas. Before we go to break, uh, here's some holiday songs from Manoa DNA. Merry Christmas from all of us and Santa and Mrs. Claus and KITV4 News.